Hey YouTube, this is Retta. How are you today? I'm doing a uh, kind of reading. Hopefully I have enough time. I finally found my other battery, but it's completely dead. Um, well, I was up late last night and happened to be on YouTube and seeing what was going down between Ray J and the Kardashians. And I'm here for it. Um, you guys know I don't... <laughs> nothing really catches my attention in the celebrity world anymore. I do plan on doing a Justin Bieber one because I'm trying to see what's going on with him since this whole facial paralysis and stuff. But the Norwoods, which is Ray J's family, has always been in my heart. I grew up, I feel like I grew up with Brandy and Ray J and they're around my age. Um... I always looked at Ray J with the side eye. He reminds me of my nephew. I have a nephew like him who's handsome and funny and very mischievous and always doing some shit and you just look at them and you you don't put nothing past them, but it's hard to to be mad, to stay mad at them, you know? And um, and I loved uh, Brandy's mother, Mrs. Norwood. She reminds me of my aunt. I have an aunt just like her that I used to be scared as heck of and funny enough at the funeral. Um, a couple of months last month or so, uh, I said, I used to be so scared at you, of you. And then my cousins were next to me, and they were like, yeah, we were scared of you. So uh, it's just a lot of similarities, especially in the black home with growing up and watching Ray J when they had the, um, the, uh, the reality show and, and stuff like that. So... When the, the sex team came out with him and Kardashian, I kind of like, hmm, I kind of thought there was more to it, but um, I was like, ah, there's nothing I wouldn't put past for AJ, but, you know, here and there. But when he came out last night and exposed the receipts that it was really Chris, I mean, we in the last few years we've heard inklings of it, but to actually see it in black and white that it was Chris and, and Kim that was the mastermind behind um, selling the tape, and she's been on this whoa, poor me crusade for 20 years about how wrong she was and how it destroyed her life, but she's made millions and millions of dollars off of this and keep dragging Ray J's name through the mud over and over. And when the ratings are low, they bring this back up. And, you know, he's a grown man. It probably didn't bother him when he was young, you know, because he's also the magician. He's used to he can he can make him he can make anything out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? So even though he couldn't make himself this mainstream media star, which he was on the road to become, you know, um, he could sing, he could rap, you know, he was handsome as heck. Um, he could have been a big thing, you know. Um, but then when this whole uh, uh, tape dropped, he kind of became to the C and D racks like list stars right and um so but he can make himself out of nothing he's the manifester so he was like i can't do it mainstream i'm gonna make myself you know i'll be the king of cd list you know he was on the reality stars and, and all this and then he was like the tech company you know i can make these knockoffs and and you know make myself and he's made himself but he's got kids now and he's just tired he's tired of it he's tired of being the bad guy and tired of you know carrying that whole family and he's just tired of it and i understand but i'm worried about this year because this year is his lovers and devils year so this is his ego year he's already having a rough year probably with his relationships and stuff uh, probably messing up with cheating or, or whatever. He may even have some addiction issues this year. A lot of things are affecting him this year, you know? And uh, this was like one thing on top of it, and he just he, he just let it go. I'm worried about next year where he's so stubborn, maybe to his own detriment, but in 2024, he'll overcome. Um, Kim K, she's the, she's the masculine energy. She's the emperor. She... You know, she's about her business, her money. She can end people, relationships that no longer serve her with no problem. She's the female of Trump. You know what I'm saying? By any means necessary. Um, and she's always willing to, st to stick it out. This is her magician year. So, yeah, Ray, you're going to, you know, you're throwing this out. And we're hoping that it could bring the Kardashians down. But this year is her energy year. This is her magician year, her manifest year. So she can spin this. You know, she can spin this. Chris, 
Chris is the strength and, and the star. Anything that comes to her, she's going to overcome. And this is her emperor year. She's going to make more money and business decisions from it. So even though I hoped that it would bring them down, it won't. I'm going to kind of go kind of fast because um, this battery is almost dead. So let's look at Ray J. What is this whole sex tape with Kim K have, has, has done to Ray J? What is he feeling about it? He just wants to be done. He just wants to walk away emotionally. He just wants to walk away from this. He, it's, it's, he's, he, that whole sex tape has kept him in a dark place emotionally, uh, mentally. He just wants to be done with the whole thing. What cross to bear? The cross to bear with him walking away is he lost a lot of, you know, um, money and opportunities. Even though he wants to walk away, some things ab about him he can't seem to walk away from. Or he'll lose, you know, some some money, some financial things. But at the same time, he's lost a lot of financial things from not walking away. Not really bringing it out like he should have, like he did last night. You know, he lost a lot of financial opportunities. Um, he's made a lot of money with these women. You know, he's made some money with them. You know, it... it he was building things. He thought they had a plan. This is a plan. Chris, him, and 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 um, Chris, him, and Kim were working together. You know, with the plan, making money from this. You know, that was the bottom line to everything. He's been heartbroken for a while. He's been heartbroken for a while, and I think it's really affected him. Like in the last three years, maybe because of his kids, it's really broken him down mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually in the last three years. And it, I think it's coincides with his kids being born. So him going out talking about, I got kids, I got kids, it's definitely true. You know, that's what's, you know, if it was just him, I don't think he would mind too much. You know, and um, he wants to, remember I said this is his, his uh, devil and um, lover's year. So this is his ego and stuff. His ego, his own vices are knocking them on the head. But also, he wants to put these women, these women and their celebrations and all the thing. He wants to put them for the public consumption. He's like, hey, you know, I'm going to put my stuff out here. But you guys are going to put your stuff out here. You guys are celebrating. You guys are billionaires. You got this new show. You're celebrating this and that. But you know what? Let's see about that. Let's see what the public opinion really thinks. And I don't care that I'm in my feelings and in my ego and I might be drunk or high when I'm saying this. I'm just putting it out there for public consumption, for public judgment. Right? He's going to be victorious. He's victorious with it. He's victorious with it. But even though he's victorious with it and he's going to have some victories... It's still keeping him up on. I think this really affected him. And I think this has affected him in the long term. As I always said, this happened when he was in his early 20s. You know what I'm saying? And a man's brain doesn't fully function until they're like 25. So uh, their cognitive thinking in the long term, they just kind of, boys kind of impulsively live for the here and now. And he didn't see the long term ramifications of, of what was going on or what was going to happen and him having kids or whatever because he's a magician he always lands on his feet he manifests things always happen for him so he really didn't see the long-term approach he always thought well whatever i'm gonna take this four hundred thousand and double it you know i'm gonna take this lick and double it and uh but it's really weighing heavily it's probably caused a lot of his addiction issues probably caused him some sex addiction issues this whole sex tape probably caused him some drugs and alcohol issues this whole sex tape it's caused him a lot of mental stress and anxiety i didn't realize it affected him like this and it's constantly in the spotlight constantly you know, even he thinks it goes away, it's it's brought back in the spotlight. It's brought back in the spotlight. I didn't realize, just by doing this reading, I didn't realize how much that this sex tape really affected him. Because we're thinking, oh, he's a guy, you know. We, we look at Kim's, oh, it's her body out there. She's performing this, this and that. But did it, it didn't, it really, really affected it really, really affected him mentally, emotionally. And I think that was a lead to a lot of his his um, his uh, 
his addiction issues. I think he has addiction maybe to to uh, sex and, and drugs and alcohol. And, you know, the public opinion really weighed down what people thought of him, you know. And while these women are out there celebrating and stuff like that, and their womanhood and their sexuality, you know, public was coming down on him. All right? So let's just see the relationship between... Kim and him real fast. What's their relationship? I'm hoping that I can do. I'm going to have to do a part two because this is about to die. Um, their relationship right now between Kim and Ray J. So he's, she's, uh, I'm going to put him because he's male and female energy. He's that hermaphrodite energy, the magician. She's male. I'm just going to put her over on the female side right now. They both want to walk away from this relationship, from these feelings. They both want to walk away. Kim? Kim feels like she's stuck. You know? She feels like she's stuck. She was waiting for something to kind of pop off. She kind of feels like she's stuck. Him, he's kind of out there celebrating. So he's out there like, okay, I'm celebrating. It could be emotionally drinking. Last night he was probably drunk and high while he was out there doing it. Um, why he was out there exposing them. And he's probably like, yeah, I put it out there. I put it out there. It's probably, what does Kim want from him? Kim wants justice from him. Meaning, um, which is strange. She wants to see where the chips lay. You know, okay, we got it from the public opinion. Let's see where the chips lay. You're going to take me to court? Let's see, let's see where the chips lay. All right? What does he want from her? He wants, he wants some strength. He wants strength to overcome. I think he still has some type of feelings for her. Not like love or whatever, but I think, you know, um, maybe she was his, like, first relationship or first love or, or whatever. Um, um, she just wants to, you know, be her happy family, have her family happy, this and that. Um, he's trying to figure out where do we bring two groups together and figure out how to go from here. So I don't know if it's Kim and him coming forward. How are we going to get from here to there? You know? And we see that in his re his messages. How can you clean up my image? Tell me. How are we going to do this? We can do it strategically. He's willing to work. He was willing to work with them. He's still willing to work with them. But he's stressed out. He's stressed out. You know? And he's like, he's ready to get his coin, too, from it. You know, and he, he, when he did this, it wasn't really thought out. You know, when he went on last night, it was probably the drugs and the alcohol, uh, whether it was weed or whatever. He didn't really think this through. He just went, you know, he just went for it. <laughs> um, but now, probably this morning, he's thinking of the bigger plan of his own, you know, business, his own moves. Um. And he probably wants to distance himself from the situation. But also, I'm worried about next year. Remember I said the chariot energy is next year. I'm, I'm worried about him, you know, being too stubborn, trying to, you know, deal with something and trying to force something. And it kind of crumbles be behind the end of something. The carry is a burden. Losing a lot of money. He's going to have a victory. Um, but this is causing a lot of mental anguish. And still working together. Okay, so let's see. What does he want from the Kardashians real fast? What does he want from Kim and Chris? He still wants to work with them and figure out money-wise. A settlement, maybe, or find out ways to make more money. Cause look at they're going in billionaire status, and he's made. I think his net worth was fourteen million, which is I would love fourteen million. And there's a billionaire, and he's probably like, look at all this money. You know, you got you guys became A listers. I went from, you know, B A list. Now I'm to C D list. You know, um, his ego. It's his ego. His vices are coming into play. He needs to worry about that. And he's, he wants to stack his coins. He wants to make his money. Because um, he's heartbroken. 
and he's emotional and he's probably drinking and he feels betrayed he feels betrayed um and he wants to do something now his anger has kind of took it and he wants everything to end and come to completion and he's in i'm worried about him not standing his ground um and him he kind of did this probably without too much of a plan last night and I'm, I'm afraid he may lose some battles, you know. Um, he may have won some battles, but he lost a few battles in between. He just wants good for his family. He doesn't know what to do next. He's kind of stubborn going full steam ahead on the new opportunities. It's a lot. And he's still going to have financial. I still think, so with all that saying, I'm still thinking that he's willing to work with them to make it financially um, benefit for him. To either continue as the bad guy or, you know, clear his name, but you're going to pay me, you know, you're going to make this financially benefit for me of 20 years. Um, 20 years we've been doing this. You're going to make it financially. Is he going to go to court? I don't see court yet. So, I see, I, I don't think he's going to court. I don't see any court cards. Um, I think he's doing this in public opinion. Um, he's very emotional. He was drinking. Um, he wants some money, but I see it's going to be a lot of bullshit in order to get, it, to get the money. I don't think he did this the way that he should have did it, even though he was upset. Um, he won a couple of battles. He's lost a couple of battles. There's still a battle to be left. He's for his family. He kind of didn't know how to go about this. He's still broken. He lost a lot of finance, finances, um, a lot of physical things, fa family, money, opportunities, so forth. He's emotional. Probably was drinking, but he wants his coin, and he wants to go full steam ahead with it. And it's stressing him out. So he's about his money. He really wants some money. I haven't seen any court things. Um, what does the public opinion going to go? Let's just do this and then I'll be done for now. Um, you guys, if you guys have any questions, we'll redo it. And I am going to do Justin Bieber because I want to see how he's been doing. Um, what does the public, is the public opinion going to be on him or Kim's side? So public opinion, are they going to lose out? Public opinion, I'm going to do Ray J on top and Kim on the bottom real quick. Before this battery dies. Um, it's, a, it's going to be a lot of kind of fighting and competition. Um, it's, he's going to have some fruit from his labor. Um, he's going to back off a little bit. Even though last night he was really going full steam ahead, he's going to back off a little bit. He's trying to find ways to get his abundance, his money. And there's going to be a lot of fight in between them two. And the public opinion, you know, the public opinion, the public wants him to fight even harder, to go at them harder. That's what the public opinion. And there's going to be a lot of comments going back and forth. Some for Kim, some for him. It's going to be a lot of you know, infighting in the comments and stuff. Some people want him to go further, go all in, and they don't feel like he's going in enough, you know. Um, and I think he's going to make some money out of this, whatever this is. Let's see public opinion. Um, some people are going to stand their ground in regards to, to Kim. Um, some people are going to move away from her. Some people are going to stand beside Kim. Some people are going to move away from her. And she may, some of her star, in people's eyes, some of her star power may diminish. Um, is she going to have any anything happen in the big picture of her stardom? Um, I don't see her, um... No, I don't really. She's going to stand her ground. Um, I, I don't see any real... She's not stressed out. Um, I'm, I'm finding her finding ways to kind of uh, maneuver and, and outmaneuver kind of Ray J on this. She's going to stand her ground. I don't see this as the end for her. 
Um, and I see her celebrating at the end. So, Ray J, try to get what you can now. I don't know if you're going to get what you exactly wanted was your vindicative, even though your vit, um, even though we've seen the messages and, and all that. Um, they have a spin machine. This is Kim's, um, magician year. And she can spin it just like how you spin it, um, this year. So I don't see any major things. I do see that you may be getting some money, um, Ray J. So that's about it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know and we'll take it. And maybe after tomorrow, so I'll do the Justin Bieber. I gotta, uh, charge these batteries. Talk to you guys later. Bye.